Welcome to the Gamescape, everybody. My name is Jarek, and today we're back in Phoenix Point. This is episode 21 of our playthrough. And in our previous episode, we got a little bit more trade done over in Europe and that area with the Helios. Not too much exciting going on there. We're just exploring the world and seeing what we can find and doing a little trading along the way over that way. Over here, though, we had to defend our Alaska base from the Pandoran attack, and that defense went really well. Uh, we ended up capturing everything that came in except for the Acheron, a couple of mine fraggers, and we did end up killing one, one Arthron. Uh, unfortunately, that Arthron was probably worth about 110 mutagens, but uh, he was blocking two of my guys into a little alcove, and I couldn't get past him, and I needed them out in the fight. So I had to kill him, unfortunate, but uh, that's the way it is. But we still pulled uh, uh, 800 or so mutagens out of that particular battle. Uh, it was a lot. We got a lot. In fact, we got a siren amongst our captures. And so I've uh, rearranged our research just a little bit. Um, I've got the, we're finishing up Snedrian Espida uh, development, and then we're going to do the Berserker. That's going to be about five hours. The capture of the of the siren got us the psychic influences available as well. So we're going to do that and, and then the telepath telepathic nodule and so on. We've got Air Force Division in as well. So there's a few other things over here uh, that maybe we'll throw in later. But for right now, we're in pretty good shape. Um, I did pull the Medusa AAM out of there because uh, I that's not something I'm that interested in. The EMP missile, I don't know if it does us any good you know uh i don't know what it does and i haven't ever used it before and i'm not really that excited to experiment with it right this instant uh poison weapons we might eventually go for poison weapons we need to do that one to get the uh the psyche crossbow uh which is the poison crossbow if we ever want to go with that uh, i don't know if we're going to or not we'll see what happens but uh for now not really uh not really an issue uh, we could throw Chiron vivisection in if we wanted, I suppose. Fireworm too. Let's do Chiron. That's okay. Might as well do that. We can throw that in, I suppose, too. We don't have much else going on. We'll probably pull it out before it gets to it. But uh, if not, it's a three-hour research now. It's much, much better than spending 13 hours at the beginning of the game to get the Doomsday counter. So, All right, so... Anyway, our base defense revealed the lair that the uh, Pandors were attacking from, so that's where we're headed today. And we're up here. We're going to do a little exploring. There's our Speeda. Okay. Uh, we're going to have continuous attack. We are going in. Enemies are threat level high. Corrupted area doesn't matter to our mutoids. This is going to get us some good reputation with everybody, so I think we're going to be good. Let's have a look and make sure that we're all set here. We've got almost a thousand. Almost a thousand mutagens now. Widow definitely could use her, her last tier abilities here. Um, what do we want? I'm going to hold up and wait for Berserker class and get her probably ignore pain. But this one we can fill in. Do we want regen for her? Do we want resurrect? I mean, it's not super excited about resurrect i guess it's a lot of it's a lot of will points to do it and she's got other things she spends her will points on we could just go with regular old regen that wouldn't be the worst thing for her um goo bomb would be the other thing that we would maybe get but uh eh, I, I don't know if i need a goo bomb necessarily that just sticks the bad guys where they're at uh situationally that's probably okay but uh it's 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 not that important. I think we're just going to give her regen. She's spent having issues with her uh, hit points anyway. So I think that's going to be good. And I'm going to probably just hold off and get her pain, uh, uh, ignore pain uh, with her level five ability because we're going to have that here very shortly. Very shortly. So, all right. So there's that. Uh, is anybody else missing any abilities? Not yet. Okay. So that's fine. Um, maybe we're going to kick everybody up to 18 speed here. That's going to cost us a bit, but I think that's okay. Oracle, 18 speed. Widow's already at 18. All right. 
I think I feel pretty good about that. That leaves us still a lot of mutagens, but it's a nice little boost for everybody here. Um, probably wouldn't hurt to start working on their strength and then they need more willpower obviously too so we're not anywhere near getting this squad up to where they need to be but for now they're in good shape and i think they're going to do a really good job in this uh in this layer because of the fireworms they can deploy and burn the burn the hatchery down so let's get in there and let's see what they can do all right here we are Already have eyes on an Asclepius. Oh, he's close. He's very close. Uh, I think we're going to just tear him up real quick. Uh, we have a Terror Sentinel over here. We've got an egg over here. Let's have a look and see where the old hatchery might be here. Could be here. Could be in one of these back areas back here too. Not here, might be here. Oh, in fact, I think it is here because I can't put my cursor there. I think it's right here. Well, that's going to be interesting to get to. All right, well, let's deal with this thing first. Um, I'm not that interested in capturing him. It would take 90 to do it. And he takes half damage after the first one. Uh, we're going to want a, an Aspida probably to do the capture on that thing eventually. Uh, let's get uh, let's get a little close. Actually, before we do anything, let's get you to frenzy everybody. Now we can move up a little bit more. like say to here and then we can just uh, open up on this guy and we'll just take out his husk. Okay. Valkyrie. Okay, good. Artemis. Squeeze a shot through there. Yup. Disabled the husk. Let's get you over here into cover. Blaze, why don't you come here? Let's see if you can finish it. Yup. Actually, you know what I'd like to do? Because Widow's at five. You're at five. Everybody except Artemis is at five. She, uh, no, she can't do it with her handgun. All right, that's fine. Let's just do this. Okay, good. Um, maybe we pull you forward into cover here. We do need to be a little bit careful about this guy here. What's his activation range? Okay, so we were actually in it. It's probably a good thing we moved out. Basically right up to the rock here. Okay, good. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have you chuck a worm and let's do some scouting probably going to miss I might fall into a deep dark pit yep sure did okay let's get you into some cover All right. Okay, Oracle, you've already done 
your move or your what you would call it your frenzy that was it that one fell into the pit too okay good that's awesome okay see what comes out at us here Oh, where's he at? He's kind of over off to the right of us there. Oh, there's another one. Well, I mean... Deal with you, too. him up. Spend some little points here, I think. Okay, let's get you up to here. Let's see what else we can get here first. shots from here. Ooh. Headshot. Not quite there, though. Not quite there. Okay. Okay, disabled leg. here. I think everybody else is pretty much gone. Widow's got a shot here yet. Oh, she's got it. Where's it at? It's back there? It is back there. Okay. Good. We're not going to worry about the head. We're just going to kill it. Okay. And then Artemis is going to get the kill. Nice. Very nice. All right. Widow, you stay hunkered down right there. Okay. We've got a second Arthron coming in over there. Oh my goodness, two more. 
That's a lot of Acherons, guys. What do you say we just uh, move up, huck some worms in there and get that thing burning, hmm? I think that's our best bet. Uh, can you do it from here? Yes. Okay, Let you come over here, and once you throw one in there too. I get it right on the roof so it slides off. That'll do. Okay. Uh, these guys over here. My goodness. That's four Acherons. Four Acherons. I come to here. Can I boom blast and get a grenade up there and knock down some of that stuff? Let's see what the grenade can do from here. Uh, I'm gonna have to boom blast. Well, if we can't hit the hatchery, then we'll hit the. Uh... Yeah, can't. So we'll hit this guy over here instead. Okay, did something to him. Got his head. And his arm. I think that pretty much disables him. And this guy here lost his arm, but he's still got a spitter head. I think he has a spitter head. Pretty sure it's the same guy. Yeah, he's a tyrant. Okay. Let's move to here. Alright, Artemis. You can throw some worms too. I don't think you can reach though. I think you quite have the reach. Let's chuck a few over that way. Let's give those uh, anybody over there a chance to get a look and see it. Something else. All right, you. Probably can reach from here, right? Oh, not quite. Fine. We'll move you up. And you'll just throw one instead. I've got two in there already. That's probably enough, but we're going to, you know, we don't mind a little overkill sometimes. All right. Oracle. Um, let's just have a uh, Overwatch, I guess, and off this way somewhere. you're doing that exactly. Are you getting my worms with that? Or you gooed it. I, 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 I don't know what you're doing. Oh, there's a worm there. Okay. They were they were super misting my fireworm because they're afraid. I would be afraid too. All right, let's get this spawnery burning, huh? Can you get even get in there? Yeah, you'll be able to get in there.
You'll be able to do it. You're going to move to about right here. And you're going to explode. There's one. One little fire. A little fire on the other side here. Ought to take care of that. This guy. That'll do. Could I have captured him? Yeah, probably. Probably should have, honestly. But get you over here. Something like that, anyway. All right, so this thing's going to burn big time. I got another one heading in there right now next turn, so it'll burn some more. I got two others. This guy can get in there, too. Nice. Let's just uh, zip him right over to here. Now let's do it again. Go. We want to throw a couple more just for good measure. I don't think it's quite necessary, but we're going to do it anyway. Because we can just dash out of here if we need to. Okay, uh, but you can start pulling back. Okay, uh, why don't you have me a little overwatch like so, just in case. I don't think there's anything over there, but you're going to start falling back too. Because that Fire should be enough to take care of that hatchery in just a couple of turns. Okay, can you actually move? You can't. That's alright, we'll let you stay there. And you can stay here too, and you can make them panic. Okay, she'll bear a champion. Now him we might let come closer, because we could capture him. Yep, yep, yep. Keep wasting that. Keep wasting that. I like it. Use up all that willpower. That's not even hitting him. It's not even hitting him. Okay, now we might have to deal with that guy. Now we might have to deal with him. How we doing back here? Ah, uh, he's burning. It's not burning much. Egg pods to destroyed? They're not, are they? Oh, they're almost dead, though. <laughs> Next turn, they'll be dead. Yeah, it's getting burning more. Oh, that did something to him. Oh, look at what that did. Now he's bleeding 480. Yeah, he's going to be dead in a turn and a half here. 
All right. Good. Falling back, guys. Falling back. Okay, that's fine. He's clear over there. If he gets over to us, he gets over to us, and it's okay. If he doesn't, well, we're just going to uh, be ready to leave. Okay, you can't get over by this rock. I have to remember that. That's off limit. Okay. Let's have a little overwatch like so. You fall back to here. And you're going to have a similar overwatch. Think about like that. In case somebody decides to come in come to here. Didn't trigger him, did it? No. Nope. Okay. Valkyrie, you're just gonna stay put. You can get out of here if you need to, right? Yep. You stay put right where you're at. Uh, why don't you just... You're not doing any good here. Keep burning it. More fire. There you go. He's dead. Okay. Plus 25 will point on the recovery. Arthron Shield Bearer Champion. You gonna come play? We might grab a capture real quick if we have a chance here. Ooh. Ooh. Um, hmm. He's worth a few mutagens. Not very good shots. He's a champion. He's probably worth about 70 or 80 mutagens. We don't have any other immediate problems that we're aware of. This is where I wish I had Athena rifles. Well, let's see what we can get from here, if anything. Very poor. Okay, he's going to come one and a half, three, six... 9, 12. He could probably get to Widow. He can probably get to Widow. Let's drop back and let's overwatch. No overwatch. You're coming out of there. You're coming back to here. Okay, just sit tight. Sit tight. Another overwatch here. Let you come mess with him. Oh, he ran through that fire. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy. He's not really close enough to worry us too much. And he's kind of stuck, it appears. Yep, that's fine. Distracted him for a turn. Okay, come see us. Okay, good. Oh, that's no good. Okay, now we have you, though. 
Now we got you. Um, you took a little damage here. What's your What are you looking like if you do a siphon attack here? Not going to do much, is it? 25 hit points. And a dash gets you out. Okay. that. I want to make sure everybody can get out still once he's captured. Okay, that's good. Everybody can get out, right? You dash to here. Not going to actually have you exit yet. Want to make sure that everybody can get out. Dash gets you to here. Okay. All right, that's everybody, right? Yeah, everybody else is good to go. You're good. You're good. You're absolutely good. You haven't done anything yet either, so let's do it. Let's get out. One capture. Don't really want to wait around for anybody else to come to us. We'll take the one and run. Those fireworms are just absolutely devastating to those hatcheries. Absolutely devastating. All right, there we go. Artemis is finally, finally level five. Get back the Geoscape. All right, the Pandoran Lair has been neutralized and abandoned by its inhabitants. We picked up the Arthron. We got some plus from everybody, plus rep. Nice, here we go. Advanced melee weapons. Anu Priest, good. Don't care about the others really so much, but uh, okay, let's replenish. Let's look at research. Let's get the priest going for sure. Uh, we'll put the priest in right after the berserker. Uh, advanced melee weapons. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that. We're not doing fungal food production, though. We definitely don't need that. Pandoran lair we can do. Pandoran goo we can do. I think that's good. All right, guys. Finally, we're going to get to go down there. Okay, where's our Helios? Still working here. Okay, we got a new Jericho Haven here. They're trading tech and... Oh, that's all of our food. Okay, we need food. We're right on top of this haven here. All right, there's our Berserker. Idols. Marad claims to be the birthplace of the Apostle to the Onceborn, the missionary-like figure sent to foreign havens into the Anu... to bring foreign havens into the Anu fold. Although there is no real proof of this in any of the ca canonical texts, Exarch O'Sullivan has decided to build a massive statue to honor the Apostle. All that's lacking is the right materials to build it. Exarch O'Sullivan is prepared to offer us a really good deal if we can help him. This is a one-time offer. Uh, we will... We could trade materials for tech. We could trade. We can just donate materials. He'll probably like that the best if we just donate it. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, when he hears of our generous donation, Exarch O'Sullivan is overcome with emotion, promising that the Phoenix Project will be credited on the plaque that will be attached to the statue's pedestal. Plus four for disciples rep. Looks good. Let's trade. I need all your food, guys. Give it to me all. 
and we're coming back here and we're going to trade with you and we're going to take everything you've got well we're going to take most of what you've got anyway um let's keep a few food here okay looks good get here and let's uh let's get down to here do a little more exploring Okay, Prisoner of Ice, Exploration Site. Our operatives have discovered cryogenics laboratory Symes mentioned in his notes. It appears to have been a government facility, possibly a black site of some kind. As far as we can tell, Symes came here to examine samples collected in the 1960s. Unfortunately, the facility has been compromised and now functions as a base for a group of raiders. All right, we are not going to start that today because we are pretty much right up getting up on time here. So that's okay. Uh, let's just take a real quick look and see where we're at with everything else. And a priest class is coming up. Manufacturing is looking okay. Uh, we got our air, air missile done. So we should probably think about getting the Helios to a base where it can rearm and uh, get, the, uh, get the new missile launcher on. So we'll probably be looking at that here shortly. I'm I'm wondering about opening a base over here. I'm wondering about opening this base because this one has, uh, if we look at this one, it's got another fabrication plant. It's got a living quarters, which is nice. And uh, I, I think this would be a good one to open up. We have enough to do it, although we're going to put, it's going to put us really short on materials if we do. Uh, we're not going to have enough to repair everything probably. We'll be able to sell the access lift for a little bit. We'll keep the living quarters. Um, vehicle base going to need repair, obviously, too, before we can do anything there. But that would be better, I think, than having him go back, necessarily. Uh, it would get us another base open. It would get us ready to go with another um, one of these thingies, <laughs> which we also need to build over here, by the way. Uh, we, we need a uh, satellite uplink here, too which would put us to where we can't do it, open the other base. Um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll give that a think while I'm between episodes here and look around a little bit more and see what's going on. But we are getting right up on time here. And so I think we're going to call this an episode. If you've enjoyed it, do me a big favor, hit that like button for me. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well. And we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.